Gary Barwin, and I'm very delighted that my novel, Nothing the Same, Everything Haunted, is this year's Hamilton Reed selection. It's a pleasure and an honor, especially because I'm from Hamilton. I wrote the book here, in my house, but also in coffee shops, conservation areas, and in libraries here. When I dreamt about the book, it was here. When I talked too much to my wife about the book, it was here. By way of introduction, I'd like to say a few things about the novel and about how I came to write it. When I got married, there was a videographer who surprised the family, including my grandfather, with mostly cheesy questions. Gary, why do you love your bride? After some typical shtick from my grandfather, I would like to address the nation. My grandfather, aware that he was speaking at an important moment in the history of the family, stared into the camera and with an intensity I'd never seen, spoke of the horrors of the Holocaust in his birthplace of Lithuania and of his family, his neighbors, whole communities and of an entire world that was extinguished. This single moment had haunted me ever since and in large part inspired the novel. Later, I learned that Hitler's favorite books were the Westerns of Karl May. These are books which celebrate the noble savage, the brave North American Indian warrior, copper colored and with a six pack like Bratwurst. At the same time, Hitler explicitly modeled much of the Holocaust on the genocide of North American indigenous people. For example, Liebestrom is modeled on Manifest Destiny. Each moment in history teaches us about other moments in history. The story of one people, while important for those people, also teaches us about other people and about humans in general, good, bad, or complicated. It's also important to remember to witness the specifics of each human story, love, bravery, war, sadness, perseverance, heroism, humor. My novel doesn't tell its story in a traditional way. Though it's about the Holocaust, I deliberately tried to tell the story in a way that would surprise the reader. Uh, sometimes with humor, sometimes by unexpected twists and turns. I want history to be alive, for our thoughts and feelings not to be just routine. This is an important story, an important history, and it speaks about important things. But the book is also based on the idea that humor is a powerful tool, a powerful technology to deal with adversity and take agency, even in the midst of the most difficult times. I'd like to paraphrase Leonard Cohen and say, there's a wise crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. It doesn't take away the pain or the horror, but it helps make it bearable, if only briefly. And sometimes by using humor, you can also open the way for the reader, um, for the story to talk about um, difficult things and to open up the heart to feel uh, the power of those things. Model, the hero of my novel, is obsessed with cowboys and wants to be brave and macho just like them. It's better than dealing with the world. Just as the Germans are invading Lithuania, he decides to go on an adventure. It turns out that during World War I, his testicles were shot off and rolled into a Swiss glacier. So he's going to retrieve them. And as a response to the death and devastation of the Holocaust, he's going to make a new life and have a child. Um, it's a, um, a great recognition of the, of the meaningfulness of life to be willing to have a child in the face of all of this uh, devastation. Does one of his testicles snowball down a mountain and destroy a village? Does he end up with a child? Does he fall in love? Does he ever meet real North American Indians? Does he hide in a circus, meet Himmler, escape to America? Well, you'll have to read the book to find out. I'm really honored that this book was chosen for Hamilton Reads. I feel that we all have a lot to share about, um, about books, about our understanding of history, about this history, our understanding of persecution, of safety, of home. I'm very happy to share the book with you. Thank you.